Efforts are underway across Australia to save hundreds of Aboriginal languages that are at risk of dying out. But community leaders in one northern town are aiming for more. Not only preserving the local dialect, but ensuring every young person can speak the language. Erin Park reports on a pioneering program in Broome, a town aiming to be bilingual. It's the start of class at Cable Beach Primary School. As in any classroom, the kids have energy to burn. But what's different about this lesson is that it's being taught almost entirely in an Aboriginal language. That game is a bit like Simon Says, but instead of Simon saying, we, um, we use the Maya, the master. So it's just like Simon Says, but in Yaru. <laughs> Yaru is the language spoken by the Aboriginal people from the Broome area. Some of these Year 4 students already speak some Yaru at home. We learn Yaru language and numbers. <laughs> and how does it make you feel? Everyone. Happy. Lots. <laughs> but for others, it's a whole new set of words, a new set of sounds, and a new way of looking at the world. So that first syllable doesn't say many, it says many. You say many. I think it gives them a connection to the place that they are, be it that be it whether they're Yaru or not. Um, so it gives them an understanding of their surroundings. It gives them the confidence to know that they can read the signs of the seasons and, and understand why things are happening and gives them that connection to place that um, often you, you don't really get taught that um, unless you're part of a culture that, that values that. We really feel strongly that we're helping the language stay alive in Broome, so, it's, so it just makes, it makes the children feel proud, it makes us very proud. Broome is not the only place in Australia where the local Aboriginal language is used in the classroom. But what's unusual is that every school in the town has agreed to teach Yaru. And the hope is that within a couple of years, every student will be bilingual. Good for Ingaliwa, Ilan, the reefish. There was never a guarantee that the Yaru language would survive, never mind thrive. We got five different mangrove species. This one here, you got, this is a Gondorongomai. Yaru cultural officer Diane Appleby remembers a very different time. Many years ago in 1942, when my mother was, there was bombing in Broome, they survived off the mangrove seed. She grew up in Broome in the 1960s, when the town's romantic pearling image belied discrimination and racial tensions. Aboriginal people never used, wasn't allowed to speak their language. So, and that is another discussion. You know, things have happened, had a negative impact on our culture with all those acts and policies. For much of the last century, her family was not permitted to speak Yaru words in public. By the time Yaru had their native title rights recognised by the federal court in 2006, the language was close to being lost forever. What the determination has done for the language, I uh, heard the cries of the elders and said, look, we need to get this into school. We need to get this language up and running. We need a language centre, we need a culture centre. This was the result, a dedicated language centre. This is the language centre in Broome and it's part of the Nyambaburu Yaru uh, native title. And the language centre is uh, about restoring Yaru language uh, as well as other cultural aspects of Yaru culture. It's a place where Yaru people can gather to learn words, archive songs and stories and plan for the future. Our language is uh, very well recorded. Uh, we're teaching it in schools. Uh, we don't really use it every day. That's, that's the next level that we want to try to achieve. And they're setting about that one symbolic signpost at a time. Yaru language is now visible in parks, schools, nursing homes, childcare centres and all new housing developments. We want to 
show the community that this when they land in Broome, they don't just see Cable Beach. What they see is the Yaru nation, the Yaru culture, the Yaru language greetings them. There are now 1,000 students learning Yaru language in Broome. The younger generation of teachers would one day like to see everyone speaking the language. I would love to see Yaru spoken in everyday life, from little kids right up to our elders. That would be, I think, our ultimate goal. It had come to a quite urgent spot, but it's not going to die because we've got all these young people learning and, and lots of people having access. And, um, you know, those, the generation that did miss out because of past policies have now got access to their language in one way or another. Thank you.